Hey, what is good, Clyde of What is good? Honestly, your boy has been enjoying this Chronicle show. Especially seeing how the main character is going through so much just to pretty much have everything thrown back in his face and used against him uh, back in the day, uh, back in classes. To now being out free, not really have to worry about what anyone thinks of him. And still he runs into these issues where people question his, you know, capabilities. They question, you know, why he's really there, his motives, all this different stuff. And he never really lets it get to him. And that's what makes his character so powerful and scary at the same time is that even when you think you kind of know what you're getting yourself into with him, all of a sudden he flips the switch and you're back to where you started to a point where, you know, you don't know why he's doing what he's doing. But what you do know for a fact is he is on your side and uh, you should pretty much trust him once he starts actually helping you because even seeing this guy who is named Gon, who we all know, well, most of y'all should know, Hunter x Hunter Gon is one of the sweetest characters of all time. So to have one that is the complete opposite of that character that I know was just respectful of the name, and hopefully, you know, they kind of, oh, this might be the end of the mission, oh, that was it. Um, hopefully they can kind of continue to not use names I like. <laughs> no, nah, but regardless, this dude was super trashy and deserved everything he got to him. So I was pretty happy about that. Uh, unfortunately, our main character has to deal with people like this all the time. And it does not seem like it will ever stop anytime soon. And because of this, it makes me worried about the future of what he's going to have to deal with uh, eventually, right? Regardless of what you do in a world like this, if you're going to continuously be judged by everybody, it doesn't matter if it's these nobles, if it's the people from your own village that, you know, you supposedly would have came from as a kid. It honestly just don't matter. They treat you as if you are, you know, untrustworthy and someone that's pretty much scum at this point from what I'm understanding, you know. So it's unfortunate, but at the same time, it's very, very expected from these types of people who have no idea what type of uh, person they could have on their team, but yet they treat them as if there is no chance for them to exist, coexist. So now I'm very happy that you know he beat the crap out of him for what he was, whatever he was trying to do at this given time and point. Um, because we all know as a fact, whatever he was trying to do, seemingly uh, was planned or was supposed to happen better. Right, like the situation was supposed to play out better than it is. Hence why he's saying, you know, like don't make a commotion and all this stuff. So it it begs the question, like, what was this truly about? What was all this going to lead to, in my opinion? And uh, we haven't even got any answers as of why they did this. I understand. Uh, he wanted to be considered her husband or whatever, or he was like gonna call practically dibs on the you know like hey i just came by here to tell you i got dibs on you all right i want to sleep in this house now too you know so it clearly was out of the blue and it was clearly something that you know shouldn't be happening and because of it it makes me wonder who put them up to it or why it even happened in the first place. So with that being said, everybody, I hope you have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. I am your boy, the anime G, and I will definitely talk to you sooner than later. So with that being said, take care and peace.